guys we're back out in the shop today and what we're going to be doing in today's project is changing the oil in a 2014 toyota tundra crew max just walk around here give you just a little bit of a side view of it uh, you can see the tacoma down there in the background uh and uh you can see here i've had this truck for since 2014 i bought it brand new great truck love it and uh i try to take care of it so today it's due for an oil change so that's what we're going to be doing some of the things you're going to need to do this project is, of course, your oil filter. You can see that I have got the Toyota Gen 1 filters here. And let me show you the part number of this. I will put a link down in the description to where you can get these. And the way that I buy them is I buy a bulk pack. You can see I've got a total of five oil filters here that will do me for a little while. I try to keep the maintenance on my vehicles up. So this is going to do me for a little while. Uh, you're gonna also going to need a 9 16 wrench, uh, which is what I've got here. You are going to need some type of a plastic bottle, and you'll see why shortly when we go to change the filter cartridge. And speaking of changing the filter cartridge, in order to get that cartridge changed, you're going to need a specialty socket. Check the description below again. I will have a link to where you can pick one of these up. And be sure to get you a oil drain pan also. And you're going to use a total of eight quarts. All right, guys. We are underneath the truck. So I'm sliding my drain pan into position underneath where the plug is. If I can hold the camera in the correct position. Take your 9 16 wrench. If I can hold the camera still, simply crack that loose. And as I've told you before, you want to make sure that you do not over tighten these. If uh, you've ever seen any of my other videos, you will see that that is something I do remind you of because it will cause you more trouble. And once you get that loose, just spin it on out. I generally try to hold it till I get to the very last thread and once I get that I just pull it out of the way let the oil drain just that simple we'll let that set we will clean this off and go from there as once you get the oil drained take a rag and wipe off where plug goes before putting it back in that way you got a good clean mating surface kind of helps it to seal as it should be sure that you do not force the plug back in just uh, I like to snug it up by hand just to make sure that it goes in all the way and once I get it snugged up by hand I'll take my wrench and you've probably seen in my last video when I was changing the oil in Tacoma. Don't over tighten these. Just snug them up. You see, I just give it just a little bit of a gentle snug. And then I'll often pull it back loose and then go back in. Uh, just you want to make sure that you do not over tighten them. Uh, if you will cause yourself a lot of heartache and cost yourself a lot of money. If you ever over tighten one of these and strip the threads. Or if you get it so tight that you can't get it out the next time. So now that we've got that done, we are going to move on to changing the oil filter. First thing that we need to do to change the filter is to take you a 3 8 drive ratchet and extension like I've got here. And on the bottom of the filter cartridge, you can see that we have this cap basically is what it is and you want to break that loose and when you put these on make sure that you do not over tighten them because they will tighten up over time guys i went ahead and just pulled this out to where i could explain to you a little bit better it was a little bit of a challenge for me to try to do this and hold the phone so uh, as i said just a moment ago what you do is you take a 3 8 ratchet and you will unscrew this if you have it screwed in too tight from your previous oil change the whole mechanism is going to want to turn and that can be a little bit aggravating 
uh, you can change it that way it's just you're gonna get oil everywhere there is a lock tab that will actually catch on the side of this housing and you can see the little paint mark there that's where the catch uh, indicator is that basically is telling you that that catch is going to hit right about here and so once you take this cap off set it aside do not lose it inside this is a valve and what this allows you to do is to drain your oil filter uh, prior to actually pulling it and I know that uh, I've got oil on this but no big deal inside your new filter what you will actually get is a drain valve just like this that's where the bottle comes into effect you take your plastic bottle and take your lid off of it drop your drain valve onto it like that and when you mate that drain valve up in there you'll have to press real real hard not excessively hard but fairly uh amount of pressure on it and it will actually drain your oil filter before you pull this cartridge out and uh, that kind of makes it just a little bit easier for you and the oil filter will also come with a new o-ring for this which actually mates right up in here and that's something that you want to make very certain gets put back in it also comes with a new o-ring to go around this part of the cartridge as well so be sure to put your o-rings on install your new cartridge and then installing it is just basically the reverse of taking it out the way that your filter wrench works, you can see these notches that are on each sides of this wrench. They are going to correlate with the notches on this cartridge. And with this on your socket, you can see that it mates up very well. Uh, gives a lot of support to that. It will only fit one way. As you can clearly see, we have a single notch here and three here for this again guys check the description i will have a link to amazon uh, which is where i got this one to where you can order one for yourself but this is used to pull the main cartridge out as well as to install it once you have your new cartridge filter in installation is basically the reverse of removal just ease the cartridge and the housing back up into place do not force it. Make sure all the surfaces are clean before you do this. You know, wipe it down real good with a rag. Screw it up by hand. Just uh, want to make sure it's something that I do is I uh, just like to touch that O-ring again one more time before it actually starts uh, mating with the housing. You want to make sure that you coat it with oil, uh, with a new O-ring, coat it with oil. And then just uh, snug it up by hand. And then once you get it snug by hand, take your socket and ratchet and give it just a little bit more snug. Again, do not over tighten this. Look for the mark that uh, it's kind of hard to see here as dark as it is, but run it up to the mark where the catch is there's you'll see the catch up here it's very hard to see now as dark as it is but uh where that catch is is where you need to line up the uh paint mark with and once you line that up you'll just kind of bend it back into position and you'll be good to go once you get everything back together you want to make sure that uh, you snug that cap on the bottom of your oil cartridge back up don't over tighten it just just give it a little bit of a snug and then you're ready to fill it back up with oil i use the mobile one full synthetic that is what of course that's uh, what toyota actually recommends for this zero w20 i put a link down in the description for this also i buy it in the uh, jugs it's a little bit cheaper that way it takes a total of eight quarts of oil for this truck uh buying it like this of course you have 10 quarts but that gives you just a little bit of a spare and if you put it somewhere where you can store it you can actually just keep that either for a spare or for later on for when you do another change 
and uh, anyways guys uh, the next step after doing all this is to reset the maintenance switch I've got a separate video that shows how to reset the maintenance switch I will tag it up here at the top to where you can go to view that uh, check out the links below I'd appreciate it uh, it's you know the, the tools I, I try to buy a lot of stuff online I'm sure many of you guys do also it's a little bit cheaper a lot of times and uh, I'm able to get the, the uh, filters and a few other things cheaper than I can anywhere at my uh, parts houses around here so uh, just give them a, have a look at them check them out uh, anyways guys thanks for watching check out the rest of the videos on the channel uh, and we'll see you next time drop me in the comments down below we'll see you